Okay, welcome back. Now that you've done a bunch of designs, finding some beautiful positive and negative relationships inside other forms, it's time to put those various thumbnails or four by four inch designs together onto one page to make a composite. So to do that, let's start a new file. And in this file, we're going to be working on a tabloid form Let's see, let's first title this. We'll call it positive, negative, letters, and I'm going to composite. And we're going to composite this onto a tabloid size paper. I don't know if you know that term, but it's two 8.5 by 11s together make 11 by 17, and it's referred to as tabloid. So we're going to turn this into inches. And we're going to present this vertically, so we'll have 11 inches wide, 17 inches tall. And let me change that to vertical. Verify the resolution is 300 dpi, because that's good for print. Also verify that it is grayscale, 8-bit, background is white. Create. All right, so we've got a nice big... Eight and a half, or excuse me, 11 by 17 piece of tabloid paper here. Now we want to open up some of our letter forms to composite onto this. We're going to find our best six. There are a number of ways to do this. Uh, I don't know if you know more about bridge. You could look at them and pull them in. You could look at all your images as a thumbnail situation. But just to keep it simple for us, to, we are going to go to File and Open. And depending on how you organize yourself, often you know files might look like this, like a list, or like this. But in this case, it'll help you if you go ahead and give yourself the little grid of thumbnails of your files. You can see some of mine read way too quickly. Letter B, this B still shows up too quickly. I actually feel like the G, even though I worked on it, it still reads too quickly. So I'm going to focus in on some of these other ones. That one's better. Not as good as could be. All right. So I am going to click on this one. And now I'm holding down Command because I'm going to click on both versions of it so I can compare them, consider them. I'm going to take that. I'm still holding down Command as I'm selecting these. And yeah. I consider, I think this one looks less like a G, maybe it's because of the inverse. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 possibilities. I'm going to open them. And they're all opening up into Photoshop. And I don't know if you can see, but they're all lined up here across the top. There's a way if you click here, it'll give you the list of all of them. But we'd like to be able to see them all, so this is a little cumbersome, but it, it can work. Let's go to Window Arrange, Float All in Windows. And now we have all of those designs, each in their own window. And I'm going to click on it, and I'm using Command Minus. And I am minusing it down to there's no writing here. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do that. With these. So all I'm doing is holding down command and hitting the minus. So there's no percentage left showing. It's showing me the whole image. It's shrinking it down within that little window pane. But it's making it nice and small. Aha! Here we go. So now I have my tabloid piece of paper, and I have a whole bunch of options to work with. I am going to click right there in that corner and drag these down so that I can look at each of them. I'm going to be slightly organized when I have the inverse of one. I'll put it right next to the former one. There's a little bit of visual organization here. You see it turn blue? I'm not going to let go there. If, I, if it turns blue, it'll put it back up on the menu. But we could just 
throw it out of windows again if we wanted to return it. Wouldn't be that big a deal. Alright, so I got 10 options. And I want to put them over here on this 11 by 17 piece of paper. Uh, we have an assignment that we need to do six studies. So let's get some guides here to make it easy for us to copy and paste and uh, place our design so it'll be all nice and neat. All right, so we'll go to View, and we're going to New Guide Layout. We get this nice dialog box here. I've been working on this before, so you can see that we're going to ask for two columns. The width is going to be four inches. The gutter in between the columns, one inch. We're going to have three rows. The height will be four inches. The gutter will be one inch. And all of these top, left, bottom, right, those margins are all one inch. All right, so we do have our beautiful guides here all laid out for us. All right, so now let's move ahead and start pulling over what we want. We have 10 options in six places. So let's pick out, well, I like this one a lot. Let's pick this one first, and I'm just clicking on it, and I'm using Command A to select everything that's in there. And then I'm doing Command C to copy it. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go Command V and that copied and pasted that design right over here. And it will snap right into wherever I hold it. If I hold it close to these intersections, I've got Snap 2 turned on and it places this nice and neatly for me. So I'm going to go to this one because I like that one. I like this one because it kind of makes me think of a dog. And I can move that down here. Let's get something that's a little more geometric. I'm clicking on this. Command A to select all. Command C to copy it. Come back here, click on this. Command V to paste. I don't know if you've been noticing, but it's making, each time I paste something, it makes its own layer for that case. Let's see, let's do this one. Select all. Command C for copy. Coming back over here. Command B for paste. So, you kind of, you kind of get a rhythm. You can start working pretty quickly. I'm going to select this one. Select A. Command A for all. Command C for copy, and clicking over here, Command V for paste. Click and drag, and paste that there. Now I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one that's sort of chunky and hard. Command A for all, Command C for copy. Command, I'm clicking here, and then V for paste, it makes its own layer. Okay. So I've kind of randomly put these here, and now I'm just going to be a little bit aesthetic in how I arrange them on the page for presentation. So this is, I want to separate these two because they're too similar. So I'm going to click and hold, drag that over there. I'm just going to drag it down for a minute. And now I need to get that one underneath, but if I'm clicking on it, I can't get to the one underneath. So I'm going to hold down the Command key. and click on the one that I want, and that grabbed it for me, so I can move that over. I can come back, I'm holding down Command key, clicking here, and I can drag that up. So that's that's a little more interesting, they seem to be opposing each other quite a bit right here. I could fiddle some more. Um, I don't know, I'm looking at it aesthetically. I feel like, you know, you can move these around the way you want so it looks nice on the page. But there's one other consideration you need to make, and that is some of these show the square aspect ratio quite well because they have strong edges in the design. Some of these, the square nearly disappears. This is a good example of that. The only way we can really see the square right now is because those blue lines are there. So if I go up here, um, view, show, and I am unchecking the guides, and I'm also going to click on the background so there's nothing selected here. You can see how this square is kind of hard 
to see. So this is going to be a judgment call on your part. But if you have a composition that the um, picture pin does not read well, here's how to work with that. I'm going to hold down Command and click on this that has selected it. I'm going over to Edit, Stroke, and in here verify the width is one pixel, the color is black, and hit OK. And now there's a stroke there to show it to you when you click on the background again. But you can see very faintly there is a one pixel stroke there that helps us see that picture plane. To get back to see the whole image, I'm going Command-0, and that puts it right back here. All right, so, you know, using judgment, I kind of like this one the way it is. I think I'll put a stroke on this, this one, so I'm going to hold Command, click on it to select it, edit, edit, pull down to stroke, verify one pixel of color, OK. Now it's applied the stroke to show it to you. I'm going to click background to deselect it. And you can see now that one also has a little one pixel stroke. And that just makes some of those designs where so much white space is at the edge, you can't hardly see the picture print. So there you have it. Now we'll take it uh, and we'll print it. And I'll give you some instructions for that in class. Okay, take care. Bye.